Hey guys, it's Zach, and today I've got a pug from Palo Beer Bowl. And I know it's been a long time since I've done a Highlander commentary, so I'm glad to have a new one out for you guys. It's been kind of a weird week with all the Steam Pipe updates, and now the new Robo Crate updates. There's a lot of stuff going on. So in the midst of that, we had this pug here. It was a map that not a lot of us had played before. I'd only played it once or twice in the past. It's one of the really giant payload maps, a lot of places to go, kind of like Swiftwater a little bit, but maybe even a little bit larger than that. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity to get lost, but it was a really fun time. So I will be talking about the gameplay for a lot of this. Just one more reminder that I have a Steam group now. No, I didn't really officially announce that, but it'd be really cool if you check that out. Anyone can join, invite your friends, etc. So for this, I was running Dead Ringer a lot of the time. Um, uh, towards, uh, towards the end I did change up my loadouts a little bit, as, um, just from the way the map kind of worked out. But to start, I'm just disguising as a friendly, and I'm gonna get some cart, um, some time in the cart. See the sniper over there, call him out. Their players were also kind of scattered. This is kind of weird when the entire server, no one had really played the map before, so... Really cool to kind of learn like that, see how other people are kind of responding to a first time environment. Now a lot of the time I will be on the cart, since I have Dead Ringer, it really helps to push on offense. Both teams have popped, so I'm just kind of waiting for my chance to push in. But I'm not really needed quite until yet. Now since I feign, I'm getting behind them a little bit. And unfortunately the scout just kind of pops out of nowhere. Now in this situation, I don't have cloak, I don't have much health. So I am going for a headshot. Unfortunately I don't land that, but those are the breaks. When I'm in spectator after a life, I just click really fast. Just try to get a little quick view of where all my teammates are, what's going on. Trying to get a little bit of information that I can call out. Everyone's on mumble, so it's a lot easier to call out information. Everyone's actually talking, unlike lobbies and such. So, there's really good communication from pubs usually. And as a spy, you really gotta be spitting out information there. The second I walked in, that heavy ambushed our heavy. I called him out, my team went after him afterwards. <laughs> Fail stabs there, but still got the job done. My team's going for that heavy now that I called out. And they're bringing down the sniper. Any giant map like this that there's just a lot of view that they get, really good to just call them out or kill them if possible. Spy's a direct counter to sniper usually, so it's good to take them down. Now there, the medic had Uber, I called that out and tried to get some damage on him. If I were to make him force pop there, that would be a bad position for him to be in. So just shooting before you feign get, makes it a little bit more believable. There, I was pretty low on cloak, but... I could have gotten away, but that scout just kind of showed up. Again, just kind of flicking through spectate. We're mostly on the car. We have really forward spawns at this point. Saw Telly there, taking that down. Walk in, get caught up by that scout. I took a shot, so I'm not going to risk that, as I need to be alive to take out more important stuff. Now I decloaked far enough back, but this heavy just kind of came out of nowhere. Didn't end well for me, unfortunately. Now here, the engineer on red didn't really seem to have the best setup. Not really sure where a better place would be, but... The Wrangler support was enough to keep us back for a little bit, but... Here's an example of where the sniper has humongous sight lines if you saw him in the top left over there. And just decloaking a little bit further back. Now there I'm just backpedaling. 
When you backpedal, it's a little bit less obvious that you're a spy. It makes it easier to cross the line. It makes it seem as if you were going for health pack. and It may be an older trick. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but for most of the time it does work, especially if you have Dead Ringer out. This map had so many saws on it inside of the house areas. It was really funny. Really cool map. I did come to like it after after this bug. Now again, just disguising as a friendly, getting some time on the cart. And I decloak because um, it replenishes your, uh, your ammo. So. Now our medic has Uber, so we're getting ready for a push. I'm just gonna clean up everything I can, getting the ammo from that teleporter to refill my dead ringer. Now this setup was kind of a hard part for my team. It took us a while to get through here. The final point on this map was pretty choky, so. Though I do really like how it lays out, it's just kind of hard to get to their spawn. <laughs> it's like a maze. Now there they are they pops. I tried to get the medic that scouts is kind of backed up in the way, and I went down. But luckily, the medic immediately went down to our soldier. So nice play by him. Here's one of those part of the payload maps that you have to push it up a hill. <laughs> those are the worst. Luckily we made it up, so... Now here I'm trying to fire off some shots on the NG, but... The Wrangler makes it unsafe for me to shoot at, especially when that grenade comes in, so... Taking down the Sniper. Given that he is a pretty big pick on payload maps like this. Since I get away, I go back in. Demo went down right in front of my face. But... Now there I'm just un uh, undisguising, getting a little bit of um, time of the cart. That sentry wasn't one that I could really reach with my um, for, for sapping it, so... I left that to my teammates, and now I'm just kind of going around looking for their combo. Called out their heavy there. Now again, just kind of backpedaling. I walk into stuff because I don't really know the whole map. So now there, the sniper just took down um, one of our players. I was trying to get some damage on him, mostly trying to find him and calm out. Now, unfortunately, there I was really low on cloak, so I did grab the health pack. Not like I had a lot of other choices there. Um, so unfortunately, I did go down. A lot of the times, if you have Cloak with the Dead Ringer, you'd want to avoid obvious spots like that, but given the amount of Cloak I had, it wasn't really proper. Uh, it wasn't really the best choice for me, so. And here I went Invis Watch, because when you get to the last points right here, you really need to make the big picks as to kind of pushing the cart and such, so. For the sake of getting the Engineer, getting the Medic, etc., um, going Invis Watch. Now, I saw them pushing around here, so I'm just going to uncloak and wait for them. Taking down their heavy, so... Now there, I got freaked out by the soldier, just kind of dancing around. Luckily, he goes down. I find soldiers can be pretty deadly to spies all the time, especially if they're using Invis-Watch to that splash damage. So... You want to just kind of like strafe around, be unpredictable. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you'd go through there or not, but... And then my medic saved me. I was like praising him in the chat. Just trying to find a health pack on... New maps, you really gotta learn where the health packs are first. It's so important there. Taking down the medic, and once again, just slipping away. Another really close encounter, so... Invis-Watch was working nicely for this. Now, getting on the cart while I can. As Invis-Watch, I'm not going to be pushing it as much as I might with the Dead Ringer. 
it's they they'll be commonly spamming the cart, and I don't want to go down just because of that. So it's mostly to stop it from going back. Now here I'm pushing in here. I see the heavy kind of being a lookout, trying to be a sniper and such. Now I wasn't really sure how that door was working out, so I was just being safe there. Taking my time and I got the pick. Now I'm just kind of waiting around for my team. I see the engineer, so... Now there I go to sap, and unfortunately I fell off. Demo takes me down. But we've called out where their sentry was, given that it was kind of a newer spot. <laughs> you can just see me spinning around trying to find out where to go. We read the arrows on the maps a lot of the time. Um, those usually put the out. I'm really bad with the directions, by the way. No, I've seen their they pop, so I'm going for, for that. Their medic sees me, so I just go for the demo instead. Um, given that you won't really get the medic if they see you, so... Um, he was pretty good at keeping his distance when he knew I was there, so... Taking out what I can to me. Now, I see the pyro coming around, so... I was at low health, low cloak, etc., so... Um, their teammates just showed up and I went down, so... Again, very choky with this point. Um, I'm disguising his scout now, trying to flank. I was going up these stairs a lot to try to get behind them. This seemed like a pretty safe way to get behind them. Now they are going to go for the NG again, but this heavy just... I don't know, he was just kind of like there. He has amazing hats, by the way. Now here I've gone back to Dead Ringer. Um, given this watch wasn't really working out for me the past couple of lives. Now here I made a mistake with the map. <laughs> Dropping down here. Now that was fine, I just wanted to see what was down here, so like if it were a flanking route, and clearly it was not. <laughs> you can see I look up, oh god. And then the worst thing ever happens, Pyro comes in. This has the weirdest movement. It just takes me down. It's so fail on my part. That was really funny. So, learn your map, people, even if it's the first time. It's just kind of a funny error on my part. And there, I obviously went Spicicle after that little mishap. Now, typically, I don't really love the Spicicle that much, because I always find myself getting lit on fire when I'm uncloaked, and that's the worst when you have the Spicicle. But. They are just, uh, just barely got unseen, so got the heavy down. Now there I see the med in the demo, so taking down the med, pretty big pick, especially when we got one minute left and stuff needs to get done. Now here I'm going back towards their spawn. <laughs> I just realized that was their spawn. Um, I don't know what their soldier was doing, but it was scaring me, so I just gotta back out, never getting in his line of sight. And there, I missed the stab on the demo, and the sentry takes me down, unfortunately. But my team is making their final pushes. I'm going back to Dead Ringer, um, I believe, with uh, Stock Knife. Yeah, so that's my cart pushing loadout. 
Now, I guess I could have gotten Spice Skull, but I don't think that ended up being necessary, so... That would be, like, Cart Pusher Spy Turbo. I don't know, but... They were kind of bunched up. The problem was that Sentry was still up. Um, I hadn't really had a good chance to get at, so now I'm kind of pushing the cart. Unfortunately, that Bonk Ball, so annoying. Kind of bump into their Spy. He's still alive, I'm still alive. So, last minute car pushing. And the spy comes back. So. so we did end up losing that one, but it was a really fun game, I think. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll have more of these up whenever good ones happen, I think. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have a new frag up soon ish, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.